Hey guys! Welcome to Wazowski TV Recaps channel. Today I am going to recap a 1997 animated film called The Lion King. There are heavy spoilers ahead. So, watch out and take care. The story of the Lion King takes place in an African kingdom called the Pride Lands, where a lion rules over the other animals as king. Rafiki, a mandrel shaman, anoints Simba, the newborn cub of King Mufasa and Queen Sarabi, and presents him to a gathering of animals at Pride Rock. Meanwhile, Mufasa's younger brother, Scar, who decided not to be at the ceremony, is annoyed that he is no longer the heir to the throne. Mufasa confronts Scar about not attending the ceremony and says to not turn his back on him when he tries to leave. When Scar says Mufasa should not turn his back on him and Mufasa asks him if it is a challenge, Scar replies that he would not dream of it as he lacks brute strength. After Scar leaves, Mufasa wonders what to do with him. A few years later, Mufasa shows a young Simba the pride lands and explains to him the responsibilities of kingship and the circle of life, which connects all living things. Meanwhile, Scar plots to eliminate Mufasa and Simba so he may become king. He tricks Simba and his best friend Nala into exploring a forbidden elephant graveyard, where the cubs are chased by three hyenas, who are in league with Scar. Mufasa is alerted of the incident by Zazu and rescues the cubs. Though disappointed in Simba, Mufasa eventually forgives him and explains that the great kings of the past watch over them from the night sky, from which he will one day watch over Simba. Later that night, Scar gains the loyalty of the hyenas by claiming that if he becomes king, they will never go hungry again if they help him kill Mufasa and Simba. Plotting further, Scar gathers more hyenas forming an army. Sometime later, Scar pulls Simba into a gorge for a surprise from his father. Alerted by an insincerely dramatic Scar, Mufasa races to rescue Simba from the stampede. He saves his son but is left clinging to the edge of a cliff, which results in Scar flinging him into the stampede below to his death. Scar convinces Simba that he was responsible for his own father's death and recommends that he flees the Pride Lands, never to return. To compound this, Scar once again sends the hyenas to kill Simba, but as Simba reaches a thorny embankment, they let him escape, hurling threats that he will be killed if ever seen again. That night back at Pride Rock, Scar informs Surabi, Nala, and the rest of the pride that both Mufasa and Simba were killed in the stampede. After becoming king, Scar fulfills his promise to the hyenas and allows them to come into the pride lands. Simba collapses in a distant desert where he is found unconscious by Timon and Pumba, who raise Simba under their carefree Akuna Matata lifestyle. When Simba has grown into a young adult, he saves them from a hungry lioness revealed to be Nala. Simba shows Nala around his home, and the two begin to fall in love. Nala then tells him that Scar's oppressive reign has turned the Pride Lands into a wasteland, she demands that Simba return and take his rightful place as king, but Simba refuses, still guilty about supposedly causing his father's death. Rafiki arrives and persuades Simba to return to the Pride Lands, assisted by Mufasa's presence in the stars. After some advice from Rafiki and the ghosts of his father, Simba, followed by Nala, Timon, and Pumba, returns home. Once back at Pride Rock, Simba, with Timon, Pumba, and Nala, is horrified to see the condition of the Pride Lands. What was once a lush paradise was now a dead wasteland. Through with the overhunting, the prey eventually left the Pride Lands, causing famine in the Pride. After seeing Scar strike his mother, Simba announces his return. In response, Simba confronts Scar, who forces Simba to confess to being responsible for Mufasa's death. Scar then forces Simba over the edge of Pride Rock, just as a lightning bolt starts a fire below. As Simba dangles over the edge of Pride Rock, Scar whispers to Simba that he killed Mufasa. Enraged, Simba leaps up and pins Scar to the ground, forcing him to admit the truth to the Pride. A raging battle ensues between the hyenas and the lionesses, Timon, and Pumba, which results in Simba cornering Scar. Amid their fight, Scar tries to secretly blame everything on the hyenas, but the hyenas overhear his conversation with Simba and back away growling. Simba orders Scar to flee the Pride Lands. Scar pretends to leave but turns to attack Simba, resulting in a final battle. Simba eventually overpowers Scar by kicking and hurling him over a low cliff. Scar initially survives the fall but finds himself surrounded by the now angry hyenas. The hyenas surround their traitorous fallen leader. Scar frantically tries to absolve himself, but 
the hyenas finally had enough of his lies, insulting treatment, and violated promises, so they ignore his life requests, attack him, and beat him to death, as flames rise around and surround them. With Scar and the hyenas gone, and with the rightful king in place, the pride lands are restored which is turning green with life again. The film concludes with Rafiki presenting Simba and Nala's newborn cub into the air, thus continuing the circle of life. With this the movie ends. Hope you enjoyed the recap. See you soon with the recap of a new movie. Till then, stay happy and chill out.